Hey everyone, welcome to Wicked Tarantulas. It's been quite some time. My schedule is still hectic and still very busy. So there's going to be no editing in this video. And yes, you are looking at my beautiful cobalt blue tarantula. It is a fully matured female and I paid $100 for her, which is really expensive considering I could have got them from Sinister Retinids off of Facebook for $75 as a sling, but I couldn't let this beautiful girl go. So I just redid her exhibit and added a lot more substrate. And yeah, this girl is completely insane. I'm so happy that I put the tank in the bathtub because she was on top of the enclosure, striking and biting. So it took me forever, forever to get her trapped. She's so pretty. And then I redid Christine's exhibit, which is a Mexican red rum tarantula. Let's see if I can get a good view of her since she's on the side. Enjoy the moving enclosure. So that girl is gorgeous. She's doing really well. She's also got a little bit of a temperamental attitude, but I'm okay with that. She's gorgeous either way. Love the red, beautiful red flaming looking hairs on her booty. Hence her name. <laughs> and, and here is my curly hair tarantula somewhere. I added more sticks to their enclosure and I gave it a different backdrop. You can never really find, up. Oh, I found him on the ground. There he is. His lifespan's almost up. And then here, I just rehoused my OBT today. And that was uh, an adventure all in its own. Just put it this way. I'm glad the video I seen about the person who put the Vaseline around the tub. I'm glad I seen it because that's what I used or this guy would have been out. Well, girl, I sexed its last molt and it appears to be a female but i want one more molt just to ensure that this is indeed a female um yes this enclosure is really really large for her but i did it so it's less rehousing and yeah this thing will web up like crazy fire belly toads they both got really big they're almost at their full span which is three inches a beautiful rose hair who still has one heck of an attitude back to this little guy real quick i have to they're just so pretty. Love my fire belly toads. And then Bendy, which is my striped knee tarantula, is in there in primo. There goes my fully mature curly hair tarantula daisy. Looking fabulous. You ain't gonna be able to see the scorpions. They're pretty well hidden. And then Kooky, which is my other fully matured, well, almost fully matured striped knee tarantula is somewhere in here. Oh, I see a leg in the back, and I need to get in here and spot clean again. And then, last but not least, for the striped knees, Goliath, who still has not molted. I don't know when she's going to molt, but I redid her exhibit and added some sticks in it. But I'm pretty sure I already put that in the last update. So then here goes my other fully matured curly hair tarantula, my boy. Always making sperm webs. That's what he does. So I do have a little bit of bad news that crushed my heart. My fully matured striped need tarantula, my male, he passed on a couple days ago. Um, this is the one that I had posted about that had detached one limb, so he's got seven limbs. He finally passed on, but I think his is due with old age. It was really sad for me just because of the fact that he was my first striped need tarantula. So he's preserved with love and dignity. And then Littlefoot, I, re, I put him in a different enclosure, a different container, and preserved him with a little bit more respect just because I wanted him to have an, just as nice of a jar. Another jar didn't let him, you know, be displayed for the beauty he really is. And then Carl Diago is in there, my Emperor Scorpion, just chilling. So, I did have to put Spidey, which is my Vicular Vicular, or common kind of pink toe tarantula. I had to put him in this enclosure. His time is almost up. He only has six limbs, and that was due to him being in one of these tanks. No matter how I set it up, how many safety nets I put in, he continued to fall. So I had to put him in a much smaller enclosure, but he seems to be doing a lot better. But I have to force him to eat. I forced him to eat a cricket yesterday. Um, I put the cricket under his fangs. He tried to refuse. 
but after a few seconds, he didn't refuse anymore. And here's my straight horn baboon. And this one's coming up on a rehouse. Need to get in there with it, but you know, his old rolls aren't that easy. And Wolfie, which is my wolf spider, he got an upgrade. He's looking good. Wolfie. Yeah, he took a limb off too, but I'm pretty sure his got stuck in between these two sticks that were overlapping. I didn't have enough hot glue. But I love watching him hunt because this thing will go after him. You see his glowing eyes. He's like, get the light out of my eye. I think you can see his fangs. He looks good. So that's what's going on right now. And then my Ecuadorian hermit crabs are in here. They didn't eat their banana last night. They didn't eat their carrots. They need a lot of their stuff. Um, one of them just molted, which I'm super excited for because I got to save some pieces of the molt. The rest of them, I cannot find. So, that's where I'm at right now. Just, like I said, super hectic schedule. A lot of things got to get done with the kids, work, school, so forth, blah, blah, blah. So, curly hair, female. Um, striped knee tarantula, still not sure on the sex. Striped knee tarantula, female. Striped knee tarantula, female. And she's coming closer. Goliath! I wish you would molt. Goliath. And then in here, the biggest update. So, this girl, I thought she was fully matured and she's going to do her yearly molt. No, this girl surprised me. She molted again uh, two weeks ago. Now she's really big. So, now she's fully matured. Her capius is much larger. I have to get the molt out. I'm still waiting to make sure she's fully healed up before I start messing with this tank. I need to spot clean again. Come on, Bigfoot, what are you doing? So I'm going to tear all this out since she's extremely docile. Usually I can do it with it in there, but because I have, I have all these sticks woven in there, I have no choice but to rip down her web and take her out. That way I can redo it because I want stick hunting again, of course. Little buddy, little buddy, little buddy! Sprout out, looking good. And then the one I almost forgot to update you about was my carabina. So I switched tanks with my carabina and my uh, pink toe tarantula just because, like I said, the pink toe definitely didn't need to be in here no more because he's old and clumsy. I'm trying to get a good angle of her. I can see her feet sticking out of her web. I don't know if you guys can dead center your screen. She's still currently hiding. Got to get in here today, too, and do some spot cleaning as well. I got, out of just about all my tanks, I think I got seven or eight of them redone. So I have yet to go. Oh, yeah, my Halloween. My Halloween. Goodness gracious, that is not Halloween. That is clearly Easter. Got to get everything together. So for my OBT, what I did is I hot glued a stick on the top and put some plants just to make the top of the enclosure slightly heavier. So this is what I got going on so far. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen spiders. One of my uh, little yellow-footed, yellow-bellied, black-footed spiders got out. Never found it in my house. Luckily, it's not deadly. It's common in Northeast Ohio, so they're all over my house. But I only took it because my friend gave it to me and. She wanted me to take care of it, so I did. But, yeah, I got out after a few weeks. One of the holes were a little bit bigger than what I expected, and the mesh netting fell off. And then I have the three scorpions, the five Ecuadorian hermit crabs. I have my dubia roaches up there that my tarantulas nor nobody will eat because they are, like, that long. They're really big. And none of my tarantulas will take them. Then I got my beetles there, and they're next to Goliath's tank. They... Will not stop producing superworms. On average, I end up about 250 superworms per month. Luckily, my friend owns a lot of reptiles, so I just continuously allow them to breed. That way, I can give her some superworms because up here the prices are freaking outrageous for superworms. For a 25 count, it's like outrageous. So I can give them to her for free and make sure they're gut loaded the correct way and all that. So when she feeds her reptiles, they are getting the proper nutrition. So. It's been such a long time since I have 
posted a video, so I just wanted to do a quick update. I got a lot of more detailing to do in my house and in my tanks, of course. I'm not okay with the poo-poo splatter. I got to take care of the poo-poo splatter. Goodness gracious, you guys. It's like every day. I can clean the tank one day, and I wake up in the next morning, and there's like five different areas of poop everywhere. So, you, what'd you do? A lot of water in the tank on that side. And the weather has been fluctuating so horribly that... I have to consistently and over overly monitor all these tanks, which is okay. So I was actually in a reacting hit with him the same day that I preserved my striped knee tarantula. I added more sticks to where he typically will lay and where he has difficulties uh, climbing. So I did all this for him. He seems to be chilling right near the bowl. I don't have to force water him anymore. He's been doing that but still force feeding i don't want him to pass on but it is a circle of life and i can't continuously cry and i don't know if i ever showed you guys that i preserved my jumping spider my jumping spider passed away too i highly doubt i'm be able to focus on this i'm gonna try i have them preserved in 91 percent alcohol kind of kind of see it so yeah so I don't know if I'm going to continue to purchase any more tarantulas, blah, blah, blah. My camera don't want to focus. Ever since I tried to focus on, there we go. I don't know if I'm going to purchase any more tarantulas. Every time I say that, I end up with two or three more. <laughs> I physically do not have the space until I move. And that could be within a year or so. So... I hope everybody has had the best days. I everybody, hope everybody's days to come are the best. And I hope you all are staying positive and reminding each other that you love each other. And life is too short. Spread the love. Be loved. Show love. All right, you guys. I will talk to you hopefully within the next few months. Thank you very much. And I'll see you then.